So, multiplication of polynomials. In this video, we are going to uh, learn the process of multiplying polynomials. And uh, here we have just a monomial, that is a single term is multiplied with a binomial having two terms. So, for that distributive property, we make use of this uh, distributive property, right? That is, all right. You have a times b plus c. If you have a, a is multiplied with the b plus c, the sum of b and c. So, how do you do that? First, you will take a and multiply with the b, that is a times b plus again a will multiply with the c. That is, multiplication is distributive over addition. That's why we say distributive property. A times B plus C is equal to A B plus A C. So, let us use that process here. Now, 4 X times 3 X plus 5. So, how do you do that? This 4 X multiplies with 3 X first. Then, again take 4 X and multiply with the 5. So, let us do one at a time. 4x times 3x. If you want, you can even write in parentheses also 4x and 3x. I am not. Okay. Then, 4x times 5. And there is a minus sign. And 4x is a positive 4x. So, positive times negative, there is a negative sign. So, I will just write a minus here. 4x times 5. Okay. So, if you are confused with this uh, two little x like thing, you can even put a dot for the multiplication. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, 4 x times 3 x. Tell me, let us multiply numbers, numerical quotient with the numerical quotients. 4 times 3, that is 12. And uh, x times x, x multiplied with x gives you x square. So, I multiplied 4 and 3 together to give you 12 and x times x, x square. So, my product of these two is 12 x square, right? 4 x times 3 x is 12 x square and I minus 4 x times 5. This 5 is by itself. So, only the numerical uh, factors here like 4 and 5, that is 4 times 5 gives you 20. And only there is a x and write down x. That is 4x times 5 gives you 20x. That's all. This is the product. That's your final answer on multiplication of 4x with 3x minus 5. As simple as that. 4 times 3, 12. x and x, x square. And 4 times 5, 20, just an x. So, this is uh, by using the distributive property, this is how we multiply. And uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can also use this area model. Using the area model also, you can multiply. Let me show it to you. Some students, they like it that way. Okay. So, I have a here a rectangle. And you are multiplying 4x. If that 4x is a single term, I'll write here. And that binomial 3x minus 5, I'll write on the top. So, our multiplication area model. Area means, you know, area of a rectangle is length times width. Just that process we are using. Okay. So, now 4x times 3x. That is the area of this rectangle. 4x times 3x. And this rectangle is what? 4x times a negative 5 times. And simplify. What is 4x times 5? I mean here 4x times In this first rectangle, 4x times 3x. 4 times 3 is 12. x times x, x square. And plus times minus. Minus 4 times 5 is 20x. So, that's your answer. 
this again 12x square minus 20x right same thing what you have here the 12x square minus 20x is the product of those two polynomials 4x times 3x minus 5 that's all you have to do use the distributive property either use the distributive property and multiply the first with first and first with second or just use the area model that's another way and let me do one more example all right okay so 6x times negative 2x plus 3 to multiply this those two 6x times 2x and then 6x times 3 let us do it 6x times that 2 is a negative 2x plus plus and plus it is plus only 6x times 3 even the area model also the same thing you do here this is 6x there you have 2x with a negative sign plus 3 so this becomes 6x times negative 2x and 6x times 3 same thing then multiply positive 6 times negative 2 6 times 2 is negative 12 right so negative 12 and x and x gives you x square negative 12 x square plus 6x times 3 that is 6 times 3 is 18 and there is a x this is your answer 12 x square and 18 x that's all so this is how you can multiply a monomial a single termed polynomial a monomial multiplied with a binomial to produce this answer okay all right thank you